Hi, I'm Brian from Brian to Taiwan. I've lived in Taiwan for nine, almost ten years, and uh, I've been working here as an English teacher pretty much the whole time. Hi, uh, you know me. I'm Jesse, and this is my new friend Fitz. Yes. Yeah. I've lived in Taiwan for seven months now, and uh, we're going to talk about public transportation and scooters. So generally in, in Taiwan and in Taipei especially since it's a big city, the best way to get to and from any place, you have two main choices. Uh, that would be buses and public transportation like the MRT and then scooter. You're going to realize there's so many scooters here, more than anywhere else in the world, there's the highest density of scooters anywhere. The fun part about it is that every time you're stopped at a traffic light, there's definitely going to be at least a row of four or five thick of scooters in front of you because people use them way more. But there's also a really, really good public transportation network here in Taipei. Not just in Taipei, in all of Taiwan actually, considering that the public transportation here connects Taipei City to the Taoyuan Airport. You also have connections where you can go from Taipei Main Station all the way down to Kaohsiung on the high-speed rail, which was created by the same company that created the Shinkansen in Japan. But they made the Taiwan a little bit slower so that they could keep their records. So, <laughs> really? I believe so. Okay, so cost for the MRT here is typically around 20 NTD per trip on the MRT or 15 on the bus. Um, your max is probably going to be about 30 in the city for it, so that's about a dollar ten US. Okay, and that would be going one way to or going from one or... way. Yes. Okay, right. That sounds about right. Um, now that is really cheap, especially compared to where I come from in Utah, because our bus system, I remember, it was at least like closer to sixty NT, two or three US dollars to get on the bus just going one place. Toronto was a hundred NT one way. <laughs> yeah, that sounds. Yeah, like... <laughs> and you had to have all the exact change, and it was a weird number every time too. Yeah. At first, I was doing buses and public transportation like the MRT because I didn't have a scooter license and I didn't have enough money to buy a scooter. Scooters, the first initial investment's a little bit bigger. It's about the kind I got is it's a gas-powered scooter and it's big enough that it can go on most bridges and major roads because there are limits to what road you can go on depending on the displacement or how strong the engine in your scooter is. So I, I took the bus and I thought it was really cheap because I was comparing to America. But then on my scooter, I found out that I can go for one week, fill up gas one time, and it costs me $180 a week. That's actually pretty amazing because that's five trips and I take roughly 10 to 14 trips a week on the MRT and end up spending about $250 NTD per week on the, on the MRT here. So that is a lot cheaper per week, but what about, what is that initial startup cost? Um, when I bought my scooter, I bought it for 45,000 NT, which would be 1,500 US. Come over here, chubbers. So for 1,500 US, I got this scooter, and um, my friend helped me get a payment plan. It's harder for foreigners to get payment plans where you pay a monthly amount here, but my friend, who's Taiwanese, he didn't have any trouble and helped me get one, and I paid him and paid through him. Um, so I had it separated over two years with 4,500, or sorry, 45,000 being the total. So I, I paid it monthly, and it, it really, you could barely feel it. It was an extra maybe couple thousand, few thousand a month, and so it was mm. really, really nice. So I'd say that the most convenient thing and the biggest benefit to having a scooter is you're not tied to the amazingly intricate public transportation system here in Taipei or in Taiwan in general. While it is really intricate and there are definitely buses and lines that can get you wherever you need to go, you only can go to the stops that those things stop at. Whereas those stops are sometimes quite far. Having a scooter, you can go anywhere you want in the city and not be tied down to where it is that there is a bus stop or an MRT. And we found that out when we went to you, Sean. There was like, <laughs> there was a, two buses per day and that was it. Yeah. Not sure if most scooters can get up those hills though, but it would have been nice to have our own way of getting around outside of the city. Oh. Now there are some cities 
in Taiwan where you just have to have a scooter because the buses aren't sophisticated enough. Generally going south and yeah. leaving Taipei, any of those cities, it's going to be a lot more spread out than Taipei since we're in a, ba a valley basin here. We're all really crammed together. But like in Kaohsiung, things are quite a bit farther. Kaohsiung in the southern part of the island, it's, it's, it's a harbor area. They've got a lot of room where they, the city can expand. And so it did expand out. And so you add another for my normal commute, I, I drive for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes a day. Whereas in Kaohsiung, uh, friends have told me that you can probably, to your normal commutes, add about 5 to 10 minutes in scooter driving time, just because of how far things are. Okay, so how long do you commute today? You do 20 I, minutes? It takes me about 20 minutes if the traffic isn't bad, but uh, the roads that I take are, are pretty good at not getting traffic jams. Some of the roads are, are nightmares, especially around rush hour. So it really kind of depends on what part of the city you're in and where you're going. And that's that's about the same for me. I take about 20 minutes to get to work, but I live pretty close to where I need to work too, <laughs> which does help. But And the trains are pretty consistent in getting me there within 30 minutes at the most. I live across the city. I actually live in New Taipei City and I work um, by the Taipei Arena Station. So um, I would say that for me to take a bus, I wouldn't say, I've looked it up, for me to take a bus from my house to go to work would take an hour, minimum. That's the fast option. There are options that go up to an hour and a half. So it really depends, like I say, on where in the city you are and where it is that you're going. I usually um, listen to podcasts, listen to music and stuff, or read a, uh, read a book uh, while I'm on the subway, so I feel like I'm doing something there too. You know, good use of time. That's true, I do miss the, the listening to music. I, I, but uh, luckily with the advent of wireless headphones, you if you have like one wireless bud, you can put that in, leave an ear open so you can hear everything, and be listening to music while you're driving. I would not recommend reading a book while you drive a scooter though. <laughs> This is a big reason I like to take public transportation, is because it is better for the environment. You know, you put a you put eighty people in a car instead or into a train instead of one person on a scooter. Definitely, definitely. The main thing I would say for the environment, I, I completely and one hundred percent agree that putting eighty people into a bus or into an MRT that is completely run by electricity is far better for the environment too. But luckily, Taiwan is a really advanced country, especially technologically, since a lot of countries have, or sorry, a lot of companies have their research and development here. And because of that, what's happened is we've seen a real big boom in electric scooters all over the country, because scooters are everywhere. In America, we're getting electric cars a lot. Those are also here, but scooters are way more used. So now we're seeing electric scooters everywhere. And the company that, that's really known is Gogoro from Taiwan, and uh, they have some really, really interesting government subsidies when you buy them, where the government helps pay for part of the cost of the scooter. And I've also just learned a few days ago from a friend that their company, instead of like most automotive, automotive manufacturers, um, instead of manufacturing a whole bunch of scooters and then sending them out to dealerships to try and sell them, they make them all individually. And by doing that, they can cut down the amount of waste that we generally have seen in the automotive industry in the past. Okay, so there it goes for scooters and public transportation. They're pretty close here in Taiwan. And depends on where you go. If you're gonna be in a rural area, you're probably gonna need a scooter. Mm -hmm. Go for the Gogoros if you can for the environmental impact because save the trees. But otherwise, if you're in Taipei, Kaohsiung, you have a good chance you could use public transportation. And if you're staying here longer, if you're staying here over a year, you probably want to go for the scooter option. I definitely highly yeah. recommend it. Now, remember also, if you're coming for a visit, you want to get an international driver's permit. If you're in the United States, you can go to AAA for that. You need to take passport photos with you, as well as your passport and your driver's license for your country, or your state, rather, because it's America. Then you also need to bring that book and your driver's license here to Taiwan with you. And when you get here, you need to go to what's the equivalent of the Department of Motor Vehicles, and they will add a little piece of paper in it that is to certify that you have started using it here in Taiwan. So there's that. Um, if you have a car license, that doesn't mean you have a scooter license automatically, so be very, very careful. Make sure you know what kind of endorsements you have on your license, because if you are pulled over and your license doesn't cover what you're writing, you might get a fine or a ticket or worse. So.
just one little thing there. Save for CAA in Canada. Yeah. But that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching. Do check out Brian's channel. Brian to Taiwan. And uh, let us know how you think. Do you use a scooter here in Taiwan? Do you go for public transportation options? Is this viable in other Southeast Asian countries as well? Yeah, also another thing that might be interesting is to see how many of you in Taiwan drive cars as opposed to scooters. So feel free to leave comments about that below in the comment section. Have a great day. Bye. Bye for now.